these questions, we're going to go through about the uses of biotechnology, reduction of land density. This question is fairly um, straightforward um, and it has um, a few ways of being approached. Now, as with any question, the first thing that you want to do is you want to define the key topics or the key um, elements here. So there's biotechnology there, which you don't really need to define. However, lactose-free milk is important, so lactose-free milk, um, as well as what makes the lactose-free milk, in this case, lactase. So these are a couple of things that we want to define first. Remember, first of all, you always want to define. So let's talk about lactose. So lactose is a simple disaccharide it's composed of two elements. Disaccharide means that there's two sugars, so it's connected, kind of like this. So this is sugar number one and sugar number two over here. And it's composed of both galactose as well as glucose. Okay? So that's the first thing. The next thing is that we want to talk about lactase, which makes the lactose-free milk. So just a quick reminder, lactase, most things ending with A's are enzymes. So let's first say that's an enzyme which breaks down lactose in milk to galactose and glucose. Good. So that's the first thing. And now with this on board, we want to talk about how this is relevant. What is the point of lactose-free milk? What is the point of lactase? We've talked about lactase, but with lactose-free milk, we need to say why it's needed. And the reason why it's needed is that some individuals, especially Asians, um, are lactose intolerant. They don't have the enzyme, they don't have lactase, which they can use to digest lactose. And when they do drink their milk, then they might get um, tummy rumbling, they might get um, tummy aches, etc. So that's not good. So let's describe that. So lactose Let's actually not talk about lactose. Let's um, go back a bit and let's just say that some people are lactose intolerant. That means that they cannot digest lactose. They cannot digest lactose. And um, so simple sugars such as the products of lactose, which are glucose and galactose, can be digested more easily for these individuals. So they can digest the simple molecules, but the more complex ones they have trouble with. So simple sugars are more easily digested. Okay, very good. So, after I've talked about a bit about the background, now we need to talk about the actual process of creating lactose-free milk. So the first thing is that they get, uh, they isolate lactase, they like isolate this enzyme from yeasts, and then after they've isolated from yeast, so they extract that, and they put it onto beads, so these beads on like a slope like this. Okay, and then this lactase enzyme is embedded into these beads. Okay, and then after that, then the milk is poured down, so we've got milk in blue here, milk is poured down, and then it kind of trickles over these lactase embedded um, beads. And at the very bottom, then we get milk at the bottom, which is lactose free. So lactose free LF milk. Okay? So that's the process that we need to do. So the first thing that we talk about is this part over here. So what's this part over here? It's, uh, it's where the lactase is found and extracted. And where is lactase found? It's found in naturally occurring yeasts. So once we have an organism, a creature that creates yeast, then we need to grow it and culture it.
okay? After they've been cultured, after they've been cultured, then the important thing is that the enzyme is isolated. It's isolated. Um, so now we've got all this enzyme, these dots over here, and we need to embed them onto the green bits, onto the onto the beads, as it, as it says there at the bottom. So enzyme is embedded onto beads. Milk is passed over. Milk is passed over. These beads to produce lactose free milk. And then finally, the last point is that um, lactose intolerant people can consume lactose free milk. So the kind of thought process that you need to talk about is first of all define, then after that then you need to talk about the process which is occurring, and finally talk about the results, which is the production of lactose free milk in this case, and that results in uh, people who are lactose intolerant being able to consume this product. So this question is actually a medium question. I don't have it up in the top right hand corner, but that usually means you're looking for about six to seven points. So those six to seven points here, so we can first talk about what lactose is and then what lactase is. Then we want to talk about lactose intolerance as well, um, as well as uh, the fact that um, for lactose intolerant people, simple sugars are more easily absorbed. Then we talk about the, this is kind of like the cutoff almost, and we end up talking about the process around about here, from here onwards. And then we talk about how lactase is found in yeasts and how they're grown and cultured, as well as how the enzyme is isolated. And finally, a bit about how, we might not get a mark for this one here, but then at the very bottom, how uh, the generation of lactose-free milk can be drinked or, or drinking by... Um, people who are lactose intolerant. So if we count those, those marks up, we've got about seven marks here, which will give us full marks. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a seven in high level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks.